welcome back to the Karangahapi Peninsula. You can fish anywhere from the rocks along the eastern side adjacent to the wharf. It's tide restricted, snaggy, drops off onto a sandy muddy bottom and has a strong ebbing tide. Kingfish do sweep along here. There was a few surprise hits on topwater lures, but none of which were caught on camera and none of which resulted in a hookup. However, there was a surprise catch on a live bait. Look at the size of those big. And what? I had a snag and I couldn't get it off. I've got a bloody octopus one. Oh, I must have a hook on. Ah, he's off. Octopus on the livey. Herald Bay. I did not like what I found there. Unimpressed, I went and fished under a big tree, casting out into the bay. Throwing out fish frames, apparently they've got a lot of ammonia in the backbone and that's a major fish attractant so break the backbone up quite a bit if you can before throwing them over. These tiny little hooks, little trout hooks. A lot of fowl to contend with here. The bay does provide some shelter for bait fish to escape the local currents. It's all in flower along here, it's awesome. And along here you get a lot of seals. They have a tendency to blend into the rocks around here and can surprise an unwary rock hopper. They have a loud bark, a nasty bite, and you often smell them before you see them. It pays just to give them space and don't dwell between them and the water. Two, three, four, sixteen, seventeen piper. At the end of Cornwallis Road lies the car park for the monument track. Cut into the trees on top of the peninsula is a memorial to the gift of this park to the city of Auckland. There is also access down to Daniels Bay, from where one can also get out to Picaroro Point. There was plenty of bait fish around here, so I wanted to get out a live and attract the kingfish. Oh, what? Nice fat cow I deployed, it's a livey. When the 
the bait fish suddenly go off the bite, it can often mean a hungry predator has entered the area. <laughs> that was a kingy. The track down to Daniel Bay is listed on many maps, but I would not recommend it for a Sunday stroll. a point and difficult spot to fish from especially when it's a big tight and if you do hook up a big one oh. it's a lot of rock structure to bring them in around Any loose rocks around here you'll be uh, over over your head by the time you got to that rock now but that would be your only chance of uh, getting him in because he's structure all through here. Spent a lot of time under the water at Lady Bell Point, but had never fished from the rocks there. Was not sure where or if there is a track down to Toria Bay to access the point, so instead hooked up with Stevie the Spinner again, and we paddled out there on a slack morning tide. Yeah. 
interesting. Fat live, he's sitting out in the current line, just waiting for a big king to swim past. It's absolutely ripping out around this corner here. Spinner hits a seagull mid-flight, catches a feather. <laughs> oh, this little rat. Right there. Yeah. Very little. About 20 feet out from this rock, Bubbles. and about that line there, is a wreck of the 65 foot trawler, the Buccaneer. When I was a young fella, about, I think I was only about 19, 20, a mate and I, we dived on it and hacksawed off the prop, 96 kilo bronze prop. Went through about 20 tanks of air and about 20 hacksaw blades. The kingy right there. Oi, where are you? Big kingy, he's on the surface over there. These are the efforts of spinner to provide us with some fresh baits for today and it just hasn't happened for us so we're going to burly the rest of it up and head on our way. Ninja! The last spot was actually the danger marker. It was a last day panic fish to put something on the table before New Zealand went into lockdown. So lately the kingfish have been prolific on the east coast of New Zealand. Lots of them have been caught and landed and a lot have been released which has been great. But I chose to uh, tackle one and Cornwallis Park and I have failed. I was being undone by lots of bad luck and now the COVID-19 crisis is hitting New Zealand and we're going into lockdown so game over. Hope you enjoyed. That's 10 spots around Cornwallis Park you can target Kingfish. I struck out this time over and over again. But that's the thing about targeting Kingfish. Any weakness in your armor, you will find it. A big thanks to Stevie the Spinner for joining us. Another thanks to the volunteer pest control group, the Petrol Heads. The bird song Fishing Around Karangahapi Peninsula has been amazing. After this, I'm going to be visiting some of the spots of my past, trying to relive some of the epic kingfish encounters of my youth. So stay tuned.